Ray <laughs> M. For not for kids. Okay, so I guess we can officially start the first no members all around the no team's first official video podcast. Sean Petty, Sean Petty, David Obert. You just repeated that again. Scar Davis, Ash Ramirez. I sang last time. James Bond. James He's Bond. Not here. My name is Bond. James Bond. <laughs> no, you're not <laughs> Jimmy. Make me a mango. I was right, Jimmy Stirred. Bond. Yeah. Stir. Stir. Why are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what, what is this about Justin Bieber oh. gang suit? Okay, so a game company a while back, about a year ago, game made this company. little, uh, it's just like a little, like, you know, independent thing. And it made uh, just, or Justin Bieber. Looks just like him, you have to fight off these hogs getting otter grafts. It's like on fucking words. And uh, so, what happens is, they, uh, so they, uh, Justin Bieber's managers and all that sent a cease and desist letter, like I sent to those one kids. And, uh, Sent it to them saying that, well, that they were going to take him to court if they didn't. Well, they beat him to the punch. They're actually suing Justin Bieber. Legally, they they can do whatever they want it's a parody. But they're not going to win this case. I can't all. imagine that out because it's a parody off Sorry, of why would they sue him, though? Why not? <laughs> Something no, to do. Su okay, specifically sue him for what? That, what did, what did he do? Explain, he didn't explain. But they just, they, they before Justin Bieber's uh, manager and I can sue them, they jumped the gun and sued them instead. So, so does Justin Bieber know Tom Cruise then? <laughs> you said Justin Bieber? <laughs> he apparently knows Chuck Norris. <laughs> really? Yeah, because uh, there was this little Facebook update thing where it's like, Happy birthday, Justin Bieber. Your friend, Chuck Norris. I'm like, what? No. <laughs> no. 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 You cannot betray us like this, Chuck. He's working out right now. No. He has his little fucking This is why, this is why we need Bruce Lee back. back. This is, yeah, because yeah. Bruce Lee wouldn't take that from some stupid white kid that no. wears women's clothes. No. Did. Fuck you. He killed Chuck. And another He's staggering staggered. Yahoo News that pissed me off. Mm. A couple days, no, a few days ago, um, go to Yahoo News just because I want to, like, know what the fuck's going on. First thing on there. Is that a Snooky bullshit? It's this thing with Jersey Shore saying Snooky's pregnant and everything. Right above that with this tiny banner, it says that the vocalist Davy Jones from the Monkees is dead. Oh, no, no, no. So apparently no, Snooki no, being no. pregnant is more of a no, no, no. big importance than a legendary vocalist They also vocalist had the whole died. Iran nuclear shit, too. No, that's a different story. That is, like, complete world news story. Right, but, I it? mean, as far as entertainers goes, Snooki, I don't give a shit about her. Or, right, yeah, with the, like... Davy like, Jones, who though, the, the vocalist for the Jersey monkeys? Shore anyways? Yeah, but, like, uh, is, People that like to watch other people's lives. Anyway, uh, but still, Davy Jones, legendary singer of the monkeys and everything, dies and all he gets is this tiny banner, but someone getting pregnant off of some stupid Jersey whore show. That's been yeah. happening a lot. You know the... Who's that guy... That guy's name from, um... Two and a Half Men? Oh, Charlie Sheen? Yeah, when he was getting all He's that fine. press and everything, yeah. and, like, uh... That, uh, like, offshore kind of stuff was going on, was it the hurricanes or, like, earthquakes? Yeah. That was not really mentioned as much, but he yeah. was mentioned more than, like, that shit. My thing is, shit. like, yeah. celebrities and crap, yeah, they all, like, do drugs. Apparently it's a big thing still that, like, oh my god, they went and did this. I'm like, you don't know oh, people died. do drugs, too. And stuff. Yeah. And my thing is, like, don't you think that, like, instead of one guy who didn't die doing some drugs is worse, how is that worse than, like, a couple hundred dying because of an earthquake or And, uh, and also, it's... It seems like now that it's okay to overdose because people look more to the good stuff and they're like, yeah. okay, they overdosed. Um, See, and the thing is, like, like with Michael Jackson and stuff, like they get dirt when they're alive, they get so much shit for stuff. And like the, the second they, they die, die it's like insane. Exactly, they're like, oh, this person did this so oh, great, God. he did this. I'm like, you also realize that you guys kept calling a pedophile strange. for like how long? Just because you're an entertainer, you're gonna be remembered forever, but then again, you're overdosing, partying, doing all the scandalous shit, being an ass, making an ass out of yourself and everything, you'll be remembered well, for the rest of eternity type of thing, but then you have people that go to war and all that shit and do something very heroic that saves their like whole, the whole platoon, uh, and then they're no, forgotten months later. You remember when, uh, okay, this, like, the same was, like, two days later, after uh, Mike Jackson and all that passed away, uh, Sarah Fawcett, she died, like, two days later, and she was completely, like... Not spoke of, you know, spoke Yeah, of I heard about that. And, you know, it's just like, Michael Jackson was, his death was so huge that, you know, it outshadowed Honestly, everything. when I first heard of his death, I'm like, huh. That was my thing. It, it was wasn't like, really shocking, yeah. it's just like, huh. 
Well, I knew it was, I knew it was about to happen. Yeah. yeah. Like, After all the surgeries, and you know, he wasn't healthy. Yeah, he you could tell fake. just by looking at him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to forgive yeah, me. Yeah, he was who, fake. Who, who was the recent singer Mostly that died? Mostly plastic. Huh? <laughs> who was the recent singer that died? Uh, uh, David uh, Jones. No, no, uh, no, not that. What no, no, before that? Uh, Black chick. Uh, yeah. Whitney Houston. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, yeah perfect. I thought that was the name. I wasn't sure. So I don't know. She was. She was very huge. Yeah, I know she was big, but all she was was. Okay, I'll get to her. She was. Yeah, she was a great singer, but people are too big, like on her death, where it's like, I was like. They're like, oh, she died. I'm like, oh, that kind of sucks, but whatever. And Tell me, find out. It's like the whole thing and stuff. Like, we still have like soldiers dying and yeah. crap, and we know they're gonna be forgotten. They're gonna be forgotten about it, and their exploits of heroism are not gonna be you know, really far out. Every, everyone, one, except for the people in their platoon. Yeah. But then you got Whitney Houston, who's done like all these. All right, she was a good singer and all that. We'll give her that much. But she's done several things that made her a bad example. And oh, yeah, oh, she's oh, gonna. Oh, she's oh, having like all these parties thrown for her, public funeral with like s- literally thousands of people, that kind of bullshit. And people everyone's just like, "Oh my that. god, she's dead!" Yeah. And there's like people well, out there doing better things than singing, and they're not remembered for it. One thing I don't like is anyone that can make a profit off of someone's death. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, that's yeah. one thing I can't stand. Well, no, if you guys make a profit off of mine, I don't give a damn as long as it goes to a good cause. Well, that's okay. Let's start planning now. Yeah, we're gonna do the Sean Memorial uh, or Sean Petty Memorial brothel. Yeah, yeah. two bucks. To it, get it can't be in the United <laughs> States, but uh, I suggest no, Thailand. No, we'll, we'll put it in Rocky Point. Point. No, no, you can put it either that or Nevada. Nevada, you can have a brothel. All right, right. Yeah. Uh, let's 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 Vegas this shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's make a profit. Let's go to Reno. Bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. <laughs> it's only if I die. I don't plan on dying soon. If anything, if anything, uh, where's my Pat's knife? Be the first one down. No offense, buddy. Probably. <laughs> Unless I happen to eat like a thing of. I mean, because Pat's got the lung problem, I diabetes. All right, so we're gonna plan smoking, on Pat's first, smoking. then Sean's. Me and Dave will make bank. <laughs> we'll make and, bank. The only, and the only one in here that would die from some sort of freak accident that's most likely to have said accident Probably. would be David because of food. Yeah. Like, no, like somehow somebody will slip a nut into my food, or like I'll tomato. S- someone will throw me into like a yeah, like a like a can, like they'll throw no, a can. No, 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 no. You'll you'll you figure you know what you want to take your comedy on the road and everything. You go to do stand up, and everyone just decides fuck this guy, and we're gonna throw tomatoes at him. And you're like, it hurts. <laughs> and they start laughing and throwing more at you. Are you like, no, stop, stop. It really hurts. And then you know they think it's part of your act. And they stop it! I'm allergic. <laughs> what a! What, what, uh, <laughs> he's funny. Oh, why is he on the ground? Why? Why is he dying? He's just like. That? What was it, uh, in, in Boondocks, uh, there was a rapper on Boondocks or whatever, and, like... No, and he's, like, singing a song called I Got Shot and everything, and, like, yeah. three gangsters run up on stage and shoot him, he's like, no, 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 I got shot for real, everyone in the crowd, no, 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 I got shot for real. He's yeah. like, no, 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 you dumb motherfuckers, I got shot, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, and he falls on the floor, and there's a pool of blood there, and everyone's just watching, and no one called the cops for 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a great show. Movies. Yeah. Uh, they had, uh, I think it was Scary Movie 2, where, uh, He's on stage, or she's on stage performing, like, acting and all that. And, yeah. Um, her boyfriend's one, up on the top. One. Like, uh, oh, yeah, it was scary one. Me one. Um, up on the top rafters, and the guy that dressed up, like, screams, like, stabbing him. He's like, he's dying! And the, and I know, and everyone like, thinks it's acting, and, and they're just like, like, wow, she is so good. And she's like, no, he's really fucking dying! And Turn like, around, that's, bitches! That's <laughs> one, actually. <laughs> and Black Chick in the movie theater. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, up there watching oh, yeah, no, 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 but then they <laughs> start, no, 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 got shot for like, real. Jump in, <laughs> in that one, remember? Because everyone starts pulling Oh, yeah, it was an original movie, movie actually. Yeah. That was a, yeah, Scream 2. Some black chick got killed in the movie theater while watching, like, someone, was part of it. someone made a, re- like a, a remake of the story from Scream 1 mm-hmm. inside Scream 2. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they all thought she was acting because she got stabbed yeah. for real. <laughs> See, well, that's right. the, that's the way to kill someone. Completely make it look like you it's a Make this go to amusement yeah. park, like Halloween time. Go to like nightfall. I'll or do, something. yeah, I'll do something. And then you know, just run up and start jabbing into someone's like sternum, and you know, so when they're like, oh, screaming in pain, it's just like you know, dress up as like you know a ghoul or something. Yeah, dress like up that. like one of the zombie cowboys. I, I did that and stuff. Like I, when we went to nightfall a long time, like we went through a part of it Which where it's like time. Uh, was that with me? me? No, uh, there was a time where me and you went. Me and Kyle went. And then the time where I took a, it was like me, Sean, and Adrian. I had fun with them. It was it was cool. They did a really good job that year. But um, yeah. so if I uh, if I ever go to like a Halloween thing and I see the theme is called stab, the just, perfect time they stab somebody. Just take like, out your oh, knife. Just oh, find oh, someone you don't like and just take out your knife and just like, yeah, you gotta put a mask on so no one can identify you. But. Also, you gotta fit the part. You know, like if you go to one of those, you know. Dress okay, if you're going, like if you're going to nightfall, dress up like a cowboy who's dead. 
Yeah. And you gotta make sure the person you're gonna be stabbing is kind of isolated from everybody else because like it's gotta be like a. It's gotta uh, look like it's been like you know planned like they had yeah. you know set up. Okay, and no one's over here. Okay. Right. Yeah. Like one, two. Oh, you okay. Can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't. You can't do that to someone as like group because then like talk to you like they'll pretty much like no, the person will fall on the ground and be like oh uh, that's funny. Yeah. Like, come on, man, get up. Get up. No, seriously, man, get up. One of the workers. That that'd be one of the things. If you had a grudge against the worker, you know, like go up and start jabbing and you know kill him. There was that one guy that freaked me out when we went and stuff. He was like the super tall. He had like a weird weird mask. Whatever. Wait, the big hands guy? Yeah. It's yeah. not like because I knew he I knew he was alive or whatever and yeah. stuff, but he's just standing up against the wall, like acting like a just like a scenery. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, he's gonna move. I know it. he's gonna move. <laughs> and stuff, and I'm like, we I walked, he like, moved. Oh, he walked I, we no. walked all the way around him because I didn't want to walk past him. I remember you wouldn't go into the clown one. The clown I hate clowns. clowns. No, okay, I Happy was the only no. good clown there. Oh, but I went with Serena a uh, while after that. He was really cool. He remembered us, you know, gave me yeah. that. But no, but I went in and uh, it was me, uh, your dad, and your dad's uh, his girlfriend, girlfriend lady. And um, we went in and like they were still behind, so I just walked in myself. And like there's people like blending in with the wall, and then there's ones that makes it look like there's someone's behind the wall. And so I walked up uh, completely around the person trying to be all sneaky ninja because they're all like camouflaged out. Yeah. And I walked up behind and started tapping on them. I was like, I know you're here. I know you're here. And stopped poking them. And then like the guy just turned around and he's like, dude, can you just stop? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I gotta watch. I haven't seen this for a while. What is it? It's the uh, whitest Abel kid you know. Abe Lincoln. Whitest kid you know. Whitest kid you know. Hey, you, you ever see this one? No. Uh, you should watch this one. This shit's funny as hell. Back then when, like, MTV was cool and, uh, Fuse. Oh they showed this a lot. I, just saw a I thought this was uncensored. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's not... No, sometimes the excessive use of censorship beeps can be funny. True. No, uh, I love when they... Not for this, this actually. No, I love when no, really really censor beeps are put in. For no Inappropriately. Reason. Yeah, like, and, like, Elmo, like, oh, I was talking to Elmo, they had this on Sesame Street, and it was Elmo talking to, uh, uh, uh the Grouch, uh, Oscar oh, Grouch, yeah. and, like, Oscar kept, like, saying oh, something, bleep it, so he was, like, Hamlet, 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 the vampire army has taken the city! We must check the castle tower and make sure that no vampire have gotten into our home base. <laughs> you wait here, I'll go check the castle. Yes, you do that. Oh my god, Hamlet! I just saw a fucking vampire! It bit me right in the neck! Oh no! Save yourself, Hamlet! Shit! <laughs> my fellow, I will words. avenge you! <laughs> Shit! And rid this castle of the vampire scourge that has taken this fair city! I shall hunt each and every Everybody one down he makes in this town he was and drive a wooden stake <laughs> through their heart. That's where he did All a lot of gestures. Oh, my friend the fellow. Oh, no! Hamlet, turn around! He turned into a vampire! He's gonna punch you! Oh, shit! Hamlet, <laughs> I can't watch this! Hey, everybody, I can't watch this! Well, some of us are trying to. John! Who said that? <laughs> Which one of y'all dead motherfuckers just said that shit? <laughs> Was it you, String Bean? You skinny ass looking motherfucker? Turn around and say it again. Turn around and say it again. Turn around and say it again. Please, please be want. quiet. John, that is the President of the United States. I don't care who it is, he's ruining Hamlet. Oh! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! You have fucked, fucked up, up now. Yeah, <laughs> you fucked up. Yeah, 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 you fucked up. Now you have fucked up. Mr. President, will you please be quiet? Suck my presidential cock, bitch. You fat ass piece of shit. You tub of lard looking motherfucker. What? 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 God knows it's probably the real story. What? Hey! What? What? Huh? I don't know why you're looking up at me, bitch. Plays on stage. I'm not putting on a play up here. I'm trying to be entertained right now. Mr. President, be quiet. John, calm down. Listen to the woman, John. Calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. Hey, acting. Stop the play. Acting. Ho! Acting. Hey, ho! I gotta go to the bathroom. I drank too much liquid. Now I gotta piss. Oh, I got a bottle. I got a bottle. It's all right. Rewind the play five minutes, though, because after that piece of shit was talking, I couldn't pay attention to what you guys were doing. So rewind the play five minutes, and you shut the fuck up. That's it. 
I'm going to do what I should have done a long time ago. John, what are you going to do? I'm going to beat him to death with this hammer. What? John! John! Oh, what are you doing, Skinny? What are you doing, you fat piece of shit? Where's he going? What's that fat piece of shit doing now? Oh, shit! Ah! <laughs> oh! Ah! He's hitting me in the butt! He's hitting my butt! Don't break my butt! Don't break my butt! <laughs> Don't break my butt! He's breaking my butt! Ladies and gentlemen, that is what actually happened on that fateful night all those years ago. American historians and documentarians believe that the actual events were far too embarrassing for our fledgling nation to endure. But Abraham Lincoln actually got hammered in the ass so much that he died of being hammered in the ass. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> God knows the fire. True. It might, dude. You never know. Okay, no, enough video. Stop it. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. I'll just, get addicted to it. Stop it. We can watch that after the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Because now I'm probably going to have to, like, put that into the podcast. Like, I'm going to have to edit it so right, like, you're people home, can like, see the video. This shit. Yeah, people can see the video of what we're doing while <laughs> what, what we're watching. They better know about this stuff. This shit's funny. It's, well, yeah. if you don't, then, you know, where the fuck have you been? Also, if you don't know about it, you're probably too young. Probably. <laughs> well, anybody who's too young can be listening to this. Not sure they. And your point. Should is? we put some rates on this stuff? Ray yeah. M, for not for kids. Get the hell out of this. Maybe we should probably have something like at the very beginning where it's just like, uh, for yeah. you know mature yeah, for, audiences. Yeah, for mature audiences only. Parent discretion is advised. Like okay, if I get, you know, some fucking bullshit, like, email from some mom, like, my son was blah, 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 blah. And somehow, like, was, was listening to your know, podcast, it's, it's like, it's we like, had a disclaimer. It's what like, do you look, I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, your son probably wasn't even listening to our podcast. My son, so my son's doing before. this because so of your podcast. <laughs> well, you're the bad parent for letting your underage son listen to our that fucking exactly. adult podcast. Maybe you should give Don't blame us, no, blame no, yourself. No, no, what you do is you tell him. This is what you do. This or no? This is what you get for giving your fucking you and your minor kid, you know, cell phones, iPods, computers. We, okay, you know? yeah, we were at work today and stuff. We saw a girl who was like uh, coming in with a resident. She was like 10. eleven years, eleven years, ten, eleven years old and stuff, and she had like this freaking uh. It was like a jumpsuit you know, kind of one. It was like yeah, and her like shorts, shorts were like all like right you know, here, like, like strap and stuff, and it was like it was open like right it was, here. It was a deep V. And yeah. the girl was like ten, and she had makeup on and shit. And she's like, she had, like you can tell she had like she had like um, a lot disgusting. of blush on and stuff. I'm pretty sure she had like blush on. Her no, pants. there's been far more disgusting things. Those stupid uh, toddler pageant things. Oh, oh god! god. Is where like you have like a three year old kid that looks like she's seven no. because of all the makeup and shit. No, check this out. No, the one no, they actually got in trouble for this. Uh, one of the pageants is uh, they had to do a, a movie you know role kind of thing. One of the parents put you know a uh, pretty woman. Yeah. The movie you uh-huh. know she plays a hooker. They had their daughter dressed up like a hooker. Oh my god. How, how, how old was that? That's bad. She was like four. I, now that that's horrible. is bad parenting. That's horrible. <laughs> I parenting. hope those mothers no, really yeah. do go to hell. And they were that's like, oh my god. Because they're doing it for themselves more than anything. It's not because like the little girl's just like, Mommy, I want to go to a pretty beauty pageant. Fine, we're going to dress you like, like a that. whore. Mommy, I want to dress you like a whore. I want to see like the little girl at that pageant and everything, and then like the person, the, the parent that's there with her is like that big old Texan dude with a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> one woman no, they later became, uh, they became uh, untrue, but the one woman said she put uh, like uh, Botox on her child. Yeah, like really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it was later claimed untrue, but... I don't that. buy that. Yeah, I, I don't buy that. Off. There was some stupid Because she was saying it herself, like, during, like, interviews during the show, like, yeah, I gave my child Botox, and, like, everyone's like, whoa, 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 It's like, you don't do that. But, I mean, Botox in general, like, you, you know, Botox, is, uh, Botox kills, uh, the nerves. Yeah. That's what it does. You know, and you're giving that to a child that's still growing, that... Yeah. Fuck shit up. But some things, like, you see, like, a lot of kids nowadays and stuff, like, who are, like, who have, like, cell phones and crap, and they're, like, <laughs> still a beer. But Dude, there's like, like, not even a, like a crease or anything. Thanks, man. You're fine. Thanks. It's Just lick it. Oh, man. It's, it's like, <laughs> you made it worse. <laughs> Go on. But it, freaking kids and stuff nowadays, like, they have, like, all this crap, like, cell phones and everything, yeah. like, the uh, iPhones and stuff, like, and they complain about it, like, being crap or something. Yeah. Back, like, I my very God. first phone was, like, seventh grade, <laughs> and I had it because of... My very first phone was, like... <laughs> Tenth grade. <laughs> well, my first phone, my first phone in middle school, because like I stayed late for like uh, sports and stuff, yeah. so like my mom gave it to me. I lost it. I didn't get another one until about sophomore year of high school. Um, let's see. The first cell phone I had, I actually purchased myself. It was this little piece of shit Motorola, which Motorola nowadays is like cool. Well, back then it was shit. Um, and uh, and no camera, no texting, 
No, that was the thing. It was just a phone. No, no music, no internet, no. Uh, it was None. simply. It was, it was just a phone. I, I had yeah. So it was you made calls. Well, on no, it. mine didn't. Mine didn't have texting. Like it was literally just a phone. That's what my uh, first phone was. My second phone. I, I was talking to my nephew and uh, which is six, and I was asking him because he, he has a little cell phone. He has a cell phone. He's six. Yeah. And uh, he's talking about it, blah blah blah, you know. And I was just like, I was like, I remember when phones didn't have texting. He was like, phones always had texting. I was like, no, they didn't. I was like, fuck, I still have a pager. You, you should, know? you should show him like a picture of what a cell phone used to be, like a big old brick. I, I showed him those big fucking bricks. My dad had one of those. I have. One somewhere. Yeah, I got the my friggin' uh, 80s phone. cell phone. That's yeah, like, yeah. The giant like bricks. Looks like a fucking like uh, Vietnam radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you call it like an air strike or something. Yeah, I got my first phone sometime like. Uh, I want a phone like that just because then it would look like I'm calling on a fucking air strike. You start. I'm actually, start, just like, actually talking to one of you guys. I flip the fucking antenna. Which is like, yo, yeah. I need it dropped here. <laughs> Where's here? Yeah, and then people just be like, "What's he doing?" Yeah, like <laughs> get, get, get something. The address you're on. Yeah. yeah. Get like a smoke grenade or something. Like, I, I need to drop down. to like first and Roger. <laughs> get, get like, yeah, get, like, fuck yeah, smoke No, get like shit. a colored smoke grenade kind of thing. Just drop no, it and be no. like, uh, smoke bombs. You know, you carry a lot of those. Just like yeah. a fuse, just throw it on the ground and be like, yeah, blue smoke. And stuff. It's just like, yeah, <laughs> drop it off by blue smoke. And so I'm like, I don't know, or just have somebody like drive by and like throw something at the door. Throw it out the car. Just yeah. Like, and then out the back of my truck, you know, just like throw a box out of it. And then be like, what the hell are they doing? It's like, I called in, you know. You know, supplies, man. It's just like you pick. It's like you pick up the bag. People are looking. It's like, what? You think I was calling an airstrike? It's like <laughs> shit. Yeah, things with technology. I don't believe kids should be getting that stuff. No, no. no. They're, and you know what? Like, okay, you know what happens when they get these? That's when you know they take those shelf self shots, send them to the boyfriends, whatever, and then that goes on the way. And then and they complain about it. And the same thing with video games. I don't believe a kid like until like maybe eight should play like mm. today's modern. Well, it depends. No, 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 okay, no, I would, no, before no. I actually played my fish with my first mature like title, which was a uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> it was like it that was, was a great game. It, it was yeah. well, it was one for it was the one for the Xbox. It was for the Xbox. And oh, Live and Reloaded. Yeah, and Bad Fur Day on the sixty four was much better. But you're well, though. No, like, no, my thing was like I played that, but the thing was I did not. Uh, that was my first official like mature game, and I did not play that until I was about fourteen. But here's the thing: uh, like I don't think like kids should be playing like today's console kind of games. But like uh, until like they're eight and everything, like before then, just have the like, Nutari or like Sega. What's, so, what, what's, what's wrong? Well, no, because uh, my niece is almost six and she can play New Super Mario Brothers Wii and Mario Kart. Yeah, like what's wrong well, yeah, with the old games? Like yeah, that's like, like Mario. simplicity. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the thing is though, like, my nephew yeah. can get down on fucking Halo and he's six. So. Like today, yeah, like, but kids then again, cannot, I, don't, I don't think so he knows no, that. Like lately, like uh, kids cannot like take what is reality and what's a video game. Because reality And the government is like blaming video games, but well, really it's bad parenting. Well, that's true, but the thing is, reality does blow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you're eight, yeah, but when, like, when you're like, when you're playing no, something, like, people are like saying, like, uh, they're playing video games for like these killings. Mm -hmm. And, uh, no, but, like, that, that's not really what it is. It's either like it's being bullied or like stuff like that, but they're still blaming it. Like, with my research paper, I'm kind of going off with like, well, there's a thing called reality yeah. and technology. I have something I was going to say, but I actually remembered. Um, the other day, I uh, read about an article where this it was a third grade teacher, kids are eight, eight years old, roughly. He gave, because he went on this... Yeah, uh, well, website, where he's like, had all like, these weird questions. All these murders, and, and what happened was, one of the things I watched the video about it was the, uh, the principal kept saying it was racist, racist. The principal was black. One of the things that, like, in the, one of the math questions was, uh, he, like, this person burnt this many murderers, this many criminals, and all that, like, and one of the things he said was this many Africans, uh, Indians, sucks, and white people, you know, Americans. Why would you expose under, this? And, um, but he, he, this was a problem that he is, he actually said that he was forced to put out this math problem, that these, this is what he was forced to do. Then the principal said, no, he was just being a racist. They fired him. Because what I'm thinking is, what, when you're a principal, you're told to put out stuff. You're, you can't just go on to something and be like, oh, I'm just going to do this. No, you're actually told what to do. And so he got fired. Principal claimed racism, you know. And so he's fired. Everything's fucked up. And the school's like saying, no, but it's all, it's all his fault. It's all his fault. And what it was, like, there was, like, some fucked up questions. You know, like, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty yeah. fucked up person all, but you don't give eight-year-olds, you know. Like, if this person murdered or this person killed uh, 179 murderers, uh... 
and like killed this many terrorists and this many terrorists. How many of he killed altogether? That's like one of the questions, actually, something like that. You should not be telling. You don't tell that eight-year-old. Yeah, it was more. It's this, like uh, this guy's going through a swampy area. He's got like thousands of leeches, thousands of fleas, and thousands of vampire bats all sucking blood from his bald head and everything. Yeah. And I, and I'm like, all right. If you have all this stuff sucking blood out of his head, it doesn't matter how many things are sucking blood out of his head. The real question here is, how big is this guy's fucking head? That's <laughs> 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 the other thing was, uh, they had this one where it was like, um, certain the vampires are like sucking the blood out of your teachers and like other shit. Like, there was some pretty gruesome. Yeah, that's questions, pretty fucked up shit. Tony, you, know? you can't. That's that, that, that 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 like right, right from he had two reasons for this. One, because he said he was forced to do it. You know, he was told to do that. And the second one was because he said that, and he hated the kids said that math was, like, the most boring subject. And you want to make it better. Dude, well, Okay, well, that's di that's yeah. different. Well, oh, it's not good. Well, fun, well, but... Uh, yeah. Well, that's because you suck at it. <laughs> well, no, I, I understand, I, I understand trying to make math, like, more fun, but that's, like, not really the way to go about it. Yeah, these kids came out... Maybe at a college level, right but not at an elementary yeah. school. Yeah, yeah I call, at a college level, where they can't understand, like, this I don't think you should have a I think he should have been put on leave without pay. You know, that's what I thought. Well, uh, uh, I would think fire my pay. baby up a bit too extreme. Yeah, but, but they they just completely fired. It seems like things are getting like more extreme. Where it's like they're not giving you a chance to like no. right well, your wrong. I this is like, why they're beating us. Well, no, see, <laughs> I'll say this and I'll sound racist for it, but a lot of black people, the first thing they they do hear something like, "Oh yeah, if that problem had like you know a bunch of the, you know that said Americans or white people yeah. dying." She wouldn't have screamed racism. The moment it said... No, the sad thing is, if they're not white, one of the first things you know. they turn to is either stereotypes or racism. Yeah, well, the thing is, you know, a lot of, you know... I That's only say, in the United well, States. Well, a lot of people, you know, a lot of, of black people will say, you know, hey, you know, oh, this is racist, or you're being racist, you know, and you're not being racist. I really see, like, only black people doing that. Yeah. The only time no, I no, not all the time. No, I'm not, not all the time. But not, most of the time it is. Yeah, I'm not saying that because there was a time where it's like a, kind of funny how that you know, the whole thing where <laughs> where you they could uh, pull like Mexicans over and stuff and ask for a green yes. card. Yeah. And stuff. There was that whole thing too. I was pulled over for that. But, <laughs> but you're not Mexican. No they, shit. <laughs> he looks it though. Like okay, he can look it, oh, but no. <laughs> at our fucking work, everyone's like, "So are you two related?" They and think like, me and him are related. No, I was like, "I'm Native American. The only thing we share is German blood." And like, and then uh. What's her name? Uh, Harley. Harley. She keeps saying, like, you guys look very similar. And it's like, no, we don't. We're, and she's like, you guys are like brothers. I'm like, no, we're not. She's like, you guys are like Well, brothers. you are like no, brothers, no, but no, not she, what she, she means. She keeps bias. saying, you guys are like brothers. It's like, no, we're not. <laughs> well, well, not like, like brothers. brothers. She thinks we're like blood brothers and stuff. Yeah. Like, not. No, if, no, if you look at me and Cheer, yeah, you can tell we're. We're brothers. You know? Yeah. You look at me and James. No, James is a little. You, like, you look at me and my guy. brother? We don't look at anything alike. No, you do. <laughs> you, know, you guys look alike. No, uh, people say, like, we have, like, some, I guess, some features, but... <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> that just seems wrong, like, on so many levels. Uh, it's, like, <laughs> awkward. No shit. But, no, you and your brother, you guys do share, you know, similarities. You know, you and your well, sister. You and your brother, not so much. You guys don't really look true. alike. We do have different dads. Oh, that's probably a big reason. <laughs> uh -huh. But other than that, you know, it's Explains like me and my brother Junior. We and you know what the funny thing is? My brother, yeah. he's a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no shit. It's probably because he didn't have your dad. You, the thing is, for being so I come from intelligence. No, he comes no, no, from no. stupidity. No, there for you being go. so fucking stupid, how did he not get banned from Xbox Live? Seriously, well, Xbox One doesn't do anything because remember how many like reports fucking we sent against his brother? Against his brother? Oh, um. You know that guy that was trying to pretty much take the Nova team name and everything? Yeah. I got him banned. Nice. Um, what? what? Xbox Live. Really? How? I found <coughs> complaints. He's <laughs> Using mine, Vanessa's, Tori's, yours, since it's still on my system. Uh, yours, Adrian's, pretty much anyone that had Xbox Live access on my console. That's I kept reporting that guy for uh, cheating and system tampering. Nice. And his account got banned, and I went back to the site, and he's like, well, it appears as though my account's been banned, well, I'm going to have to create a new one soon. And I'm just like, ha, 16,000 gamer score down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> That's like me starting over. Oof. That's what he gets. Nah, dude, you, you having to start over is a drop in the fucking bucket. Me, on the other hand, it's just like, 
Yeah, I'm at near 34,000. You don't, you don't <laughs> try to steal my cash for every moment, so I, I, I'm I like still remember. Happy. I, I Ashton sent that kid you, a yeah. cease and desist letter. What's his? Did you? Yeah, yeah, he's just like 52, right? Not a legit, you know. Kind of a joke. But, you know, it was well, a cease and desist letter, you know, telling them they need to. What exactly? Well, obviously with the... Yeah, like a cranial right now and this. Yeah, and he's like, it officially started on January 15th, 2012. I'm like, uh... Yeah, hate to break it. Hate to break it to you, but like this whole thing's been thrown around since like about 2008. <clears throat> it's just we keep changing names yeah. along the way yeah. too. Yeah. And pl furthermore, we did have Nova Team's name long before 2012. We have, yeah. Okay, we officially came with Nova That's Team small. when you started the yeah, fan fiction. Yeah, the fan fiction. So, and then from there we decided... But yeah, when he when he responded to me with, yeah, we started ours in 2008 too, I'm just like, bullshit, now I'm going to start reporting you. <laughs> he said that? Yeah. Even though on the site it says fucking 2012. 2012, he's like, yeah, we started in 2008 too, we just didn't go public till this year, I'm just like... Well, that's has been forced. It's like, okay, <laughs> every one of his fucking, you know, counts, man. Just keep, like, trolling away, though, just keep, like, reporting shit. <laughs> Yeah, with, with my gamer score right now, even though Ashton might pass me, he's not going for like achievements at this moment. So we're hunting on it, especially me because I want to pass up my brother after he cheated on his. Yeah, I'm well, that'll, last, that'll, that'll be fifteen k, right? When he cheated, he was like at fifteen thousand three hundred something. Then I, and then all of a sudden, he him. modded his gamer score, and he's at thirty four thousand. He was the next like day. the Horizon or anything like that. He can cheat, you know. It's bullshit. Yeah, you it's can, you can forcibly unlock achievements. Yeah. Which is fucking. Which stupid. will be funny when you actually like pass them up because then you'll be like, I got all mine legitimately. I kind of know what else. First, uh, I have a high school diploma. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, really yeah. Usually, when you seek your trophies. trophies. Well, did they say you have to go get it? I fit. No, I, I officially have it. Or anything. It's just I'm choosing to walk. Okay. Because my mom wants to see that. Well, yeah, I mean, she's probably dreaming that day for. A week. Long time. <laughs> I can't wait. But you know what I'm probably gonna do? The sword of my rose. He wanted it for the longest time. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have I'm gonna take a picture of myself holding a diploma like this, a sword that he wants, and then in the background on the screen I'll have my gamer score higher than his. Check out who's better oh, now. Fuck it's like, and my shit's legit. No, just send just send him a thing where it's like, I have three reasons why I'm better than you. One, two, three. I got your Medusa <laughs> sword, I have a high school diploma, and I legitimately passed your gamer Did you score. Graduate? No, he, no, he, he dropped drop? out when he was like 15. <laughs> what is he doing? He doesn't know this guy, does he? I he works at a tattoo shop. I thought about this for a little while. I noticed that me and you are pretty much graduating on the same year. I am an extreme procrastinator. Literally, I graduated on the last took, day applicable for me. Honestly, he took procrastinating to a new level. He went Because at, seriously, no. Because I had until I turned 22 to graduate, right? Day before I turned twenty two. I, I never asked this before. I, like, I never asked this before. Why didn't you like graduate on the time you were supposed to? Laziness. Uh, all right, junior year I ditched a lot, and then uh, I'm using the same excuse as Flick here. I do have the intelligence to do it. I just don't really have no, the drive to do it. That's, exactly. that, that's I never knew true. why though. You have the intelligence. I'm yeah, I'm, a, I'm an intelligent guy and all. It's just if something doesn't challenge me. I'm not gonna fucking do it. That and uh, I do have ADD to an extent. If it interests yeah. me, then yeah, I'm all for it and everything. But if I find it really, really boring and I'm forced to try to do it or something, I'm I end up spacing it. No, see with me, one thing that always fucked me over in school was uh, was homework. Yeah. As I saw it, I said always fuck it to homework. I don't give a fuck, and I almost fell a few times for that. That's that's the reason why. That's my main reason why I like almost failed. Like. Uh, Math like on more than one occasion. Yeah, that's, like, that's me right there. That's why I'm Spanish. I'm just a failed Mexican. Take this out of the products. I actually found. I know cool English. Things. It's good enough for me. Um, good enough. Yeah. Fourth grade. Uh, Miss Schiffman, which called Miss Shipman all the time. Uh, <laughs> Keeling Elementary. Uh, she told my mom that she was gonna fail me. Thing is, a teacher cannot tell a parent that they're gonna fail a student. Like that is not. The teacher can't decide that. So what happened was through that loophole, I automatically gra uh, went to fifth grade. Nice. So I was, I was happy. Then I went to Mr. Woods' class, and he was a total fucking toy. He was a pedo. He's a pedo? He would tell students if they were doing something bad guys, come sit on my lap. Uh, he was bold and like 44 or so years old, and he was telling fifth graders to sit on his lap. That's really crazy. And he did that for years. No, yeah. no one liked to report him or anything? No one no, liked to no, sit on his lap? No, they didn't do anything. And the, the last day I was in his class, because I actually, I didn't uh, do the whole ceremony, graduation from fifth grade, sixth grade thing, because I went and watched, uh, yeah. I went and watched Van Helsing. <laughs> and uh, when, was, um, when I was leaving his class, because uh, they call up, they're like, can uh, Mr. Ramirez, which is the Spanish way of saying Ramirez, and uh, can come out like it's Ramirez, and I was walking in, and he's like, well, do you want to give me a hug before you go? And I was just like, faggot. 
and just walked away completely. <laughs> uh, I've not been allowed back on that campus since. Oh yeah, um, according to Laurel, remember the tap for this? Yeah. She said next tax return. Really? She's gonna get the tap for this. What do you mean tap? The, remember the, the Jägermeister tap where you can get three of these bottles and you just stick them in there like a water cooler and it serves a chill? Yeah, three seven three seven really? Seven yeah. It's yeah. 300 bucks, and she said she's going to get it next tax return. Well, I'll probably, well if it's their federal tax return, yeah, I'll probably I saw that, I saw that little thing on there in case oh, yeah. I ever want to order it. Well, no, because the tax return she gets this year, she's uh, dumping it into the car that she wants to get. She, oh, okay. yeah. she, she means, next, she means next, year. next year, yeah. Okay. With me, if I get a job, I mean, sure, I'm going to be saving up for like my own place and all that, but when I am uh, when I have like my own money for my own expenses type of shit, yeah. well, I'm probably going to save up for stuff like that. I was like, how long have you known each other since, like, fourth grade? And I was like, how long have I known each other since, like, your sophomore year? And I was like, do the like, math. I was like, how many years apart is that? You know, I was like, I've known Heather, you know, as long as I've known Laurel. You know, that's like over yeah. 10 years. You know, I've known her since I was seven. You know, I've been friends with her since I was like, we, The first day we hung out, we played with Tech Deck dudes on the slide. <laughs> you know? Like, I had this badass Wet Willy one. He's like a ninja and shit. That was, like, you know, one of the first days we hung out. And I was like, I'm gonna be in prison later in life. Well, I already told Vanessa that, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, like, someday in the future, if we were to have kids and stuff, kid goes to elementary school, if that kid gets bullied, I want to be the kind of parent that goes there and takes the bully and throws him off the no, slide. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't imagine no, no. that. I, I'd be that kind of person that'd be like, I'm well, an well, angry son, person no. at heart, but. Call Uncle Pat. I want to go in there and the ninja suit and kick some kid's ass. Well, I'm no, like, okay, son, I'm going to teach you how to fight so you don't become a puss. <laughs> no, Basically. see, like, I taught my nephew how to fight. You know? If you don't block, you're going to get popped, and then you get kicked in the nuts. <laughs> get the sock and boppers. <laughs> get the sock and boppers and teach him how to fight. Yeah, so, I have boxing gloves. And you if I have a it. son, I will not get him sock and boppers. No, I have boxing gloves. No, I'm just saying, because if you get him sock and boppers, the moment that they go through puberty and they start getting curious, those won't be used for punching anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are people that rape sock and boppers. Oh, no, fortune is <laughs> it's spread on that, yeah. It is. Yeah, it is possible. Uh, there anyways, are people that rape Anyways, <laughs> Okay, let's get off that stuff. Um, no, I was teaching my nephew how to fight, teaching him, you know, martial arts on that. I told him a bat, he actually can do, he's a six-year-old, can do a roundhouse kick. You know, it was fucking cool. Fucking Chuck. And uh, so it was, a uh, kid was picking on him in class. And I was like, dude, kick his fucking ass. And then Jen got mad. Like, Did he kick his ass? No, he didn't fight. Oh. Then he actually moved class because he's like, actually smart kid yeah. and so he yeah, moved up I, I to like uh, classes of advanced anymore. like mm -hmm. advanced class you ever notice how people will say that you're being shameful for doing one thing but if you don't feel shame for it then you sh you're, you're not a really bad being, person you're not, like yeah if you don't feel shame for it then you're a bad person type of thing it's like you know I just, I just don't I like I just don't fucking care yeah exactly men get the short end of the stick on that one but we have the long stick well, it's true. That's why we're no, the, the short end. No, the double standard. Men get the short end of the stick on that one. But seriously, um, case in point, two guys are fighting. One of them decides they're fed up. They're gonna kick the dude in the nuts. The guy that kicked the dude in the nuts is gonna get like all this kind of like bullshit for it. It's like you know what? It's not my fault that I exploited someone else's weakness. <laughs> I fight dirty, I don't really care. Exactly! If you were in a fight, I'm gonna do whatever on, it takes to win. It's like, who stands on top at the end of the fight? The person who won. The one thing I learned about fighting from my dad is that there's no such thing as a fair fight. Exactly! Well, no, see, see, I don't fight dirty. I will not hit a guy in the balls. I will. I, I won't. You know, I, I will if it looks like I'm gonna lose. No, if I, if I, no, no, <laughs> no seriously, weak spots are there for a no, reason see, and you should exploit them. No, look. That's why you see, gotta learn to block. I, you know, I've, I've, I've lost fights. I've now, fights. what's worse is if you kick the dude in the nuts and he is just unfazed by it. <laughs> See, when you do that, you're like, her math. That, no, that's one of two things. Either one, he's built up an immunity, or. Doubt it. <laughs> girls. No, no, because if a guy's been hitting the balls enough, they're going to build up they're an gonna immunity. They're going to just go sterile and Or like, two. <laughs> this reminds me of that one, that one movie where it's like a. I had an actual what was it, like fight. A, I kick someone in the nuts and I just beat them down to the ground. See, I I, I can't hit a guy in the wall. Dude, seriously, Phil can seven status. Run up, nut shot, punch him in the face, uppercut, uppercut, jab, jab, they're on the floor and you're strangling. I love how you stand a fight to see uh, baby games. Checks out my uh nut, my dad, yeah. Yeah. nut kick, face punch, uppercut, uppercut, jab, jab, they're no. on the floor and you're strangling. Four, four, no. B, B, four, B. <laughs> no. No. Okay, no, 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 no. You gotta think of it from another perspective. Um X, Y, B, B, Y, Y, and That's then That's like the Rooster Teeth uh, target. <laughs> you know, like, little loops with that, or straight forwards? No, we're not doing sweeps on this one. It's all hotkeys. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, my dad Old school. Us, um, <laughs> if you do end up hitting a guy in the balls, you full-on kick him, the, the reaction is bent, right? 
You grab him behind the head and you just knee up and then it's done. It's like Titus. Yeah, yeah, just start bending down. It's like no, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. You know, the guy's on the ground. Not only does his ball uh, feel that's one. hurt, but you notice his face is like fuck. New guy movie. You win. The new guy. Yeah, Dude, that, that was like, fucking hilarious. Yeah, like a no, in the balls. <laughs> me. Yeah. Who's the biatch now? Who's the biatch now? No, what I was trying to say was a. Uh, yeah, I did that one movie with the. There's no alcohol. Yeah, no, thanks. Uh, that one of Amanda Bynes movie or whatever, where she tried to pretend to be a like, guy. Oh, okay. And she, oh, the there, was a, there was one where, like, they kick a soccer ball, hit her, like, right, like, in the cross here, and she's just standing there like that, and she, all, everyone's, like, looking at her, like, all of a sudden she's like, oh, yeah, oh! <laughs> she like, starts freaking out. She said in all honesty, honesty if you do out. kick a woman in the vag, it that will hurt them a lot. I'd imagine. I mean, you're still getting hit. Like, uh, it's legal. Well, no, because if you can put enough force, like, zone. in between the legs, like, not towards, just, like, more towards Slide the front, but if you get it, like, right that. underneath in the dead Hold center, the it'll push the skin and everything up oh, further, uh, it's and it'll hit them from yeah, the inside, that, and it will hurt them a lot. Show, like, Why do you think punching in the ovaries is something women say? You can actually hit an ovary. It's the equivalent of kicking a man in the nuts. No, but Salvia is And they will feel it in the kidneys. <laughs> um, no, but, uh, yeah, you can grow on the vag, and it's gonna fucking hurt. Yeah. yeah. No, cause that's, that's pelvic bone underneath, so that's nerves, muscles. Yeah, and if you put enough uh, force uh, into tissue. it, you'll, you'll end up hitting enough to where they will feel it in the kidneys. Oh, it'll hurt, it'll hurt. You know, All right, one yeah. of these days I am going to test that. The what? tape theory. You're I don't think it's gonna work, dude. No, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna try and get one of my, he my fingerprints and stuff, cause I got his fingerprint scan on my computer, so he's gonna try and get Oh, that? My yeah, that's work. No, it doesn't. He's gonna yeah, try and get like, it. And I like, tried on. If his no, if his fingers are dirty enough, what you do is you get tape. Well, you don't put the adhesive side down because then the fingerprint is reversed. Well, you get the regular shit. side and you just go like that with it. You don't put your finger on it per se. But you Wait, is your thing fingertip safe? Like a like print safe? Yeah. Huh. It's yeah. See, I couldn't get Serena to do that though. I want voice activation. No, Serena also has that fucking the. Camera one, where it's like it, like it takes like a bad. Oh, the iPhone thing, or whatever. Well, yeah, it's on her like camera, or it's on her like. Well, I'm sure that yeah. And it's like you know it does that, and it's like you know it recognizes your face, and it's like I tried it, it wouldn't work. I took a picture and tried that, it wouldn't work. So yeah, I don't know, man. That's how like paint, you know, like take a picture and like tape it to my face. Know, the I'll thing with next. like a uh, with scary stuff like that, they learned that the voice thing suck balls. Like, uh, my sister used to have, like, one of those diary things that if you see it, like, a certain board or anything. <laughs> those? Like, it was so easy, oh. like, like, I bet you can't break it. What's the password? She says the password, but you'll never get in. I'm like, alright. I said it, and I'll pick it out. Like, like all right. wow. <laughs> wow. Alright, so, um, we still have time on our side with this one. Pat and I don't have to worry about it. We pretty much have what we want from the armory. But, uh, after Bungie Day this year, what I think we should do is do what we did last year and get everyone together and get another group photo done. Cool. Yeah. Because uh, uh, you'll have all the shit that you want by then, probably. I'll you'll have, your, you'll have your you'll have your sniper shoulders, if probably. I, I haven't played Reach forever, but I mean, it, it's, I over, try, it's over. It's over. Uh, all right, it's in July, so I mean, you have time. So I mean, I think what we should do is just kind of get Nova team together, get like a nice group photo done. I think we should do like. Okay, my question is, who is all in Nova team? Well, us okay, four for production. sure. Okay, yeah, I, I would like I would like to say that like at least us anyone four, like, who's willing to put forth work into a video game type of thing. If if we did if we did this like Rooster Teeth style, like I'd say us four were the founders. You were like Bernie. Yeah, <laughs> name idea guy, because he came up with the name and stuff. But it's like who st when did we start doing the podcast? Who came up with that idea? I was sitting there talking to Scott. You, call, you said you called, called, well, you called yourself a director. Or whatever. Well, I've always wanted to do video games, and then he so found out how to do the indie games thing. Like, and uh, after that, I'm like, dude, I'm on board. Well, for it's that. like okay, me and Laurel, we used to do podcasts for ourselves. You know, we record while we're gaming, do all kinds of stuff like that. And so I was telling him about it. And he's like, that's a great idea. I've been talking about that too. And so that's when me and him sat there and decided, well, why don't we do a Nova Team pod a podcast? Well, no, originally he said, why don't we do it with our friends? And then I was like, all right, we have a name for it. Then he said, why not Nova Team? Sean no, was talking I'm about saying, it. Well, let's do it with yeah. everybody in Nova Team. And that's when we just jumped with it. I need yeah, to so do, uh, me and Pat or uh, Bernie and Matt. Matt. I don't want to be mad. We're, but, well, yeah, no, we're talking, like, yeah, position-wise. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I know. And then, like, yeah, we're, I guess me and Sean are, like, Gus and... 
Jeff and Jeff them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're like up high, they're just not like in charge. They just don't give a fuck. Basically. Like, in, the, in the ranks of the like, 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 team, team way, Sean is probably the top leader on this. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Way. Oh, just because, yeah. like, <laughs> well, I love one that. Well, that's the thing. Like, I love, Plus, I know how to take charge on things. Well, I would like I to. Too. I would like to say that, like, we're like I said, when all four of us are like the founders and stuff, that we're, we all share like the power. We're the four main. We're fathers. the four main. Yeah, we're the, we're the, the founding teams. fathers of Nova Two. In the basis of this story, we're the four main characters. There you go. By the way, I need to continue on that. We will never die. Yeah, I really main love characters. Never Wait, die. Uh, how many? Have you read well, all the chapters? I've only so read far? two chapters. I had. I had, a, I had there's a, like nine up, dude. Dude, I've read them all. Is there a way I can see them when we get to your place? Yeah, sure, go for it. I'll let you use the laptop. You can read them. So far, um. David met up with you two, and you yeah, guys heard that he uh, crashing a plane or something like that. <laughs> that crashing a falcon. I, yeah, no, but uh, you I guys went out meeting up with Flick. Adrian went rogue. Well, I like that you're like the buddies in it. <laughs> yeah, Adrian went rogue. We're like uh, Simmons in that. I'm still. <laughs> oh yeah, the rookie's dead. <laughs> that was my thing. Okay, um, you're when I was so asking, when I was thinking of like a video, yeah. and you were like, yeah, I was like, like back if you got like, if you had a character we do for cinema, my thing was like, what would I do? It all because it only had to be like thirty it's seconds. My thing would be a uh, do you one where it's like a Spartan is getting like a news really report, and all of a sudden like it goes to like, oh, we just got word that uh, oh yeah, um, it is impossible for us to do a machinima based on the Nova Team story. Why the rookie gets killed during the daytime. Yeah, well, his scene, no, his scenery is like you can't have awesome. Gouda in the daytime. Yeah, he gets killed by Gouda. Yeah, that was my thing. Was like you can't wait, wait, you can't you. Oh shit, you can't. Because Gouda is on nightfall. Yeah. Oh, no, but can I like they hibernate during the daytime? Let him explain. Just, just really quick, the fact that like the rookie got killed, like it'd be, it would go to like a news reporter and he'd be like, oh, we just got word that uh, one of the members of like uh, Nova Team has died and stuff. He's like. No, 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 you can't do that. No, it's, Nova Team is supposed to be there as, like, completely was, top secret, was, and they're no, not supposed it's to be not, there. No, it's not serious, it's like... <laughs> oh, it's a joke thing, okay. thing. Okay. Where it's just like, our prayers go out to this man who, like, died to the death fighting elites. Also, he's like, wait, what? He he died by an animal? Well, what was it? And he's like, what was he doing? Fighting this guy, like, barehanded? <laughs> he's a Spartan, isn't he? He's supposed to be the, top, the best of the best. So who's what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Uh, uh, you don't really find out. His, you don't really find out his name. He just kind of dies. He's just the kind of guy. Oh, who's so character. he's a. Uh, no, he was one, one of the. He was one basically. of the initial Nova team type of thing, but he gets killed early on. He's basically like the car. He should. Yeah, he should have. Yeah, like, yeah, he should have like a guy because he's like I'm the guy's brother. Guy. Oh, yeah, chapter. rookie number two. <laughs> I didn't even know Carmine was gonna be very big until number two came. I was like Carmine. The name. Yeah. I know because uh, when you said like uh, my brother died during this time, like I don't remember somebody died. Yeah, that was the thing. I had to replay number one. I found. I'm like. That dude died! <laughs> oh gosh, that's... Oh. Yeah, and then, uh... Jeez Louise, what the... By fuck? the way, uh, later on, uh, Kane is going to regret leaving that med kit there. Really? <laughs> so, I, so... Dude, if you find a Because now he's by himself going to that powerhouse distillery. Wait, wait, is this a yeah, spoiler alert right here? Yeah. I spoiler! Guess. Well, we can't, we like help come up with that. He is, though. But well, no, I, 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 well, no, because, uh, pretty much every Spartan on Reach kind of died. But the thing is, all of oh, us. Oh, this is not Nova Team related. No, this is Nova Team related. Yeah. Nova Team was. Is, I already I told them about this. Too. Basically, uh. Well, I didn't right. have a chance to. I don't all right. Really Basically, the initial Nova Team was me and six other Spartans. The other six Spartans are gonna die, and then that's when the rest of us get together and form the newer team. Yeah. Because we end up meeting up with each other and realizing, look, most of the Spartans are gone by now. We need to do something. Yeah. Group. Yeah, the, the group. Uh, is this like a serious story or like? Oh story? yeah, it's we we also find George's corpse. Oh, sweet. It's serious than comedy space. because basically, <laughs> so far, my whole thing is I'm just like a complete well, asshole to the ODSTs. It, it, it has its serious moments, but for the most part... I'm it's, trying to mix so comedy with... So basically uh, Rivers Blue in the newer series kind yeah, of Yeah, where it's like... Uh, yeah, I'm, try, I'm trying to mix the whole seriousness with the comedy. Because that makes things... Alright, basically my role and everything with the team that I have now, that's all the serious storytelling. And then with you guys, it's just like, what the fuck, comedy. We'll so we're like on the side kind of thing. Yeah, we're the, we're it, it mixes we're back and fun. forth, but it will merge. Okay, so we are so pretty much we're like back. We're, we're the back story in a way and everything. Yeah, and you're just like what happens. We're, we're, we're like, the comic relief. No, well, no, John's he'd be the bad. he'd be the backstory. The more serious point. No, I'm more the main story. You're more the. We're the. You're more the side story that's gonna blend into the main oh, story. No, later no it's on. called support story. Yeah, you're the yeah. support. So we're just you're there that. for a reason. It, we're it lets everyone it lets everyone get a gist of your team. character and how the team's gonna get together. Yeah, yeah. I wanna be platinum. Oh, that reminds me of feelings and teeth. Uh, did you guys see the new Thing movie? 
No, thing. I did not. A thing. I, I didn't know. Oh, like, man. Like, not Fantastic Four. I'm like, Fantastic Four no, thing? Or? No. It was, it was supposed to be like this horror. If you were here sometime bullshit. in the morning or last night, I could let you guys watch it. You guys have seen the original thing, right? Yeah, I saw the Isn't it like the really old, like, 50s movie. It was old. It was pretty old. It was like black and white 70. kind of thing. No, no, it had color. It was just one of those. Very, it, like this was a really good movie. It, back like, then it was scary. Nowadays you'd be like, like I don't want to. But tell yeah, like you. the original, the original like zombie movie, uh, Night of the Living Dead, was like. Have it. I don't no, want to tell you the, the theme to like the uh, new thing movie, but it's. I thought it was really cool. I was like, I knew it. My prediction was right. Mm-hmm. You ever seen that movie? Um, it's a really old one where uh, black and white. Uh, these couple go to like a motel and. Uh, about yeah, but the, okay. In the end, spoiler alert. It turns out like this guy and stuff. Uh, he's pretending to be his mom. Who, oh, psycho. Like, yeah, it, yeah. My thing was like, it may it may be real old, but it's still a really great movie. Cause that's like where the original like thing worked, where uh, you know, he opens the curtain to the shower and he starts stabbing the. Yeah, that's my childhood. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Now, yeah. yeah, and pretty much like, every time everyone says like, "Have you seen Psycho?" Oh, I'm like, which one? Like the new one. I mean, I mean, I mean, like the, the, I mean, the, I mean the original. The original was still really good. One thing I was gonna say is uh, that actually made me think. Um, in Brink, one of the things that made me and Sean think about you is uh, one of the masks you have on your like random person. Is oh, the fucking, cannibal mask. Like, cannibal Lecter looking mask. It's all bad. Then you can have uh, the hockey mask that looks like a fuck. Uh, that reminds me. Uh, uh, the, Jason. Uh, no. Um, what's his name? For, uh, Lee Guitars from uh, Slipknot. Tall Lee. motherfucker. Uh, well, they're not really leaving, well, but no, it is, but, you it's know, Tim. Uh, yeah, well, you Tim. know his fucking badass mask? Oh, no, no, it's mask? Nick, I mean. Sorry, yeah, Nick. Nick Thompson. His badass mask, you can get something like that. And it's fucking sweet. I mean, he's got a s- hockey mask, just not that hockey Yeah, but mask. no, but it's, like, fucking sweet, you know? Cool, we could, hey, we can play that tonight, then. It's not split screen, but I'll let you try it. Okay. You, gotta play you can make your own character. Fucking sweet. Get this! With Brink, um, you have two sides of the story. There's the security, and then there's the rebels. The rebels are trying to escape the ark. The security's trying to save it. Basically, here's how the achievement. Here's how the achievements go. There are ten missions on both sides. Eight of which are main. Two of which are what ifs. So altogether, you have sixteen mains for what ifs. Right. Sorry, Complete I, I had to all of the mains. Keep doing recording because it stopped at it stops at an hour. So keep going. Though. Anyway, you do all the mains. That sucks. Anyway, you do all the mains for the Rebel side, 75 gamer score. You do all the mains for the security side, 75 gamer score. Do all the mains for both, it's 100. And then after doing those, do the two what ifs on Rebels, 50. Do the uh, two what ifs on security, another 50. So all together you're getting five achievements. Two for 50 apiece, two for 75 apiece, one for 100 altogether, 350. No, not only that, plus what you do during plus the Plus what play. you do while you're playing. You know, the random achievements you can grab, you know? so you After playing it for one while. day, I made over 560. Which, okay, my goal... <laughs> playing it for like 20 minutes, no, see, I got like, what? Yeah. No, see, my goal that, that in any game... That was pretty ingenious with the mine. No, yeah. see, my goal in any game is if I can get over half the achievements, which is usually, you know, a thousand achievements or so, you know, whatever. If I get 500 or so while I can score out of it, I feel accomplished. Oh, yeah. Also, the maximum level for your character is level 20. If you can reach level 20, you get another 100 gamer score. Nice. If you get the DLC, you get the la- rank up four times with that DLC, which is the maximum level after that is 24. Yeah, they increase it to 24. It's another 60. Nice. Yeah. Dude, dude seriously, you. this oh, one, no. like, what, like uh, while you're playing uh, the game, the achievements are really low. But for completing the game and leveling your character up, it literally just throws huge gamer score at you. Um, after all Samurai was almost funny saying, you cut off someone's hand, give me a hand, achievement, five gamer score. Cut off someone's leg. Uh, some random pun about Oh no, party. the friggin' uh, cut someone in the, the lottery <laughs> thing where he's like, it's time to play uh, body part poker or something <laughs> like that, where you have to cut off certain limbs. Yeah, dude, you get achievements like easy as fuck. I was playing for like 40 minutes, got a bunch of achievements. So what'd you think of Sonic Generations? It's pretty good. I'm gonna try and max it now. Uh, so, you know, this has been a pretty productive, you know, podcast. Compared to our other ones. Well, yeah. no, okay, last time we did one, was uh me and him mostly talking. It was uh, I was sick. Yeah, so you were like, sick. It was like forty six minutes. It was me, him, Ashton, and you. Ashton didn't even speak. It was just pretty much me and you. Because Ashton was playing Skyrim, yeah, and, like, and uh, I was sick. So no, I he was playing his Game Boy. Yeah. Oh, the thing is, um, we don't have that They're one anymore. They're just playing with bedball. We don't anyway, but uh, yeah, I was yeah. sick, so I didn't really want to talk well, too it, much. It doesn't fucking matter. All you really heard gone. was me coughing yeah. in the background. No, but it doesn't matter because it's gone. Yeah. Damn. Oh so, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we we have a lost podcast. We have. Yeah, we have no, we have two lost pad- 
podcast. 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 Uh, two podcasts that we lost because the newest one that we no no we had because we had that one that was like about seventy five and then we had that one that I didn't back up and those two are gone. Didn't you give me them? Did I give you three or two? I got one. I got one, two, and three. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, we lost. Lost. We but, not but the thing is, I can't. Yeah. I'm pretty. Well, it's, yeah. it's fine though. You know. Yeah, because like, I guess kind of sad though. Well, the worst thing was that I lost a lot I of. Have, you I know, three right here. Well, yeah, that, that that that's understandable. But I was just talking about the. Uh, <laughs> Did you get the trial or the full game? Trial. It's very oh, laggy. I don't know. Laggy. Yeah, I noticed that. What the fuck? Um, is it because like online? Like I mean, we're, we all have like a laptops on. So. Mine's off. No, no, that wouldn't affect this. Because oh, I've had just, all trial. It's just because it's the free trial, I guess. <laughs> it's just that bad. Probably they shut down half their server. <laughs> Probably. Which does happen. Yeah, yeah Wait, it does. they shut down the server? No, some some games don't have to game. All right, so wow. back to the Nova fanfic thing. Um, let me put some locations in there for you so you know where your characters are. Yours is typically at Highland. I like that place. That's where, because it was already uh, yeah, known as that. a Spartan training camp. I just figured it's the perfect place. Was to, that one uh, Halo Three? It was one of the Defiant maps. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Not <laughs> condemned. Not the space station, but no. okay. the Spartan training ground. And with the release of the anniversary map pack, I actually intend to incorporate some of those maps into it, especially Ridgeline. And um, uh, after those maps came out, I'm gonna make it to where Pat finds a teddy bear, and he's gonna try his best uh, to protect it. But then something bad's gonna happen, and he'll uh, lose it. <laughs> he's like, no, Pat. Huh? Because uh, I intend on using some of the anniversary maps while doing this. You're gonna find that uh, GRD teddy bear. Yeah. And you're gonna try your best to protect it and everything. You're like, no, this is the first thing of like joy that I have found throughout this entire like excursion of ours. And then something bad's gonna happen. And it's gonna get blasted off the cliff. You're gonna be like, no. You should do it like you and you're gonna want to jump off after it, and everyone's gonna stop you. <laughs> really? Let me go. Let but anyway, go. but uh, you're typically at Highlands until you crash the the Falcon while trying to get these two. You guys, the yeah. the firefight map waterfront. Are we in the city, what? Are we in the city though, where that Falcon crashed? What are you doing with the No. Oh. The, oh, you, you, all right. Well, you I did this. Picture. I did this before the anniversary maps. Remember. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you guys were on waterfront uh, fighting off the Covenant, and the rest of your team died. Remember? What's it called? What are you looking for? Keep going, no, that crash course. Game. Wait, which one? The free one. The dino crash one. course. Just crash course? Dino? Wait, which one? The dino one that I played. Remember? Oh, um, you can actually find that if you look if you search through the arcade games. Dash of destruction. Dash of destruction. That's what it was. Anyway, but yeah, you two were at waterfront, and you're gonna make your way backwards through nightfall, basically. Yeah, you told me about that. I can't wait, dude. Uh, Flick is camping out near the start of nightfall. So we're gonna <laughs> fuck, we're basically we're gonna meet up with him soon. Huh? Yeah. uh... Adrian's gone rogue. I don't know where the hell he is yet. We'll, we'll end up getting it. radio transmissions from him throughout the course of the story, but we'll Can finally meet up. We'll finally meet up with him on a boneyard. Was Kyle part of this? Yeah, he'll be in there too. I told him I'd be more willing to put him in there if he could find an armor set and stick with it. Dude. Yeah, so, he changes a lot. Um, quick thing: they took off Dash of Destruction. You cannot download it now. Oh, okay. That's probably a limited <clears> thing. <throat> no, I got it a few months back, and it's you got it for me. That's why. Okay, there's a few games you will have to get from Sean. They're free. Um, there's uh, the Dash of Destruction is very easy to max. Yeah, free achievements. All right, cool. All right. One of the achievements you want Age of Booty. Uh, one of the achievements you won't <laughs> get is because uh, no team. Right, no one plays it. There's no one on the server. Uh, yeah. In the yeah. end, for Nova Team, it's going to be. I uh, actually get that exciting. Me, you, too. you Pat, right, Skyler, cool. Flick, Adrian, Kyle. Oh, shit, I forgot. And that's uh, we're we'll, we'll, um, I'm trying to find a way to incorporate Was, moral into this now. What, like Aegis Wing or Aegis Wing? Aegis Wing. How nice. But yeah, but um, at the very end of the story, when we all band together and create the newer Nova team, it's going to be uh, you, me, David, Skylar, Adrian, Kyle, and I'm still trying to figure out a way to incorporate, right. uh, oh, Flick, I, I and I'm say, still trying to uh, find a way to incorporate Laurel into this. I yeah. just don't know where to put her. I, I, I would love the background characters that just, you know. She could be a Spartan you just randomly find. Well, that's fine. So, like, you know, she's been fighting on her own. We meet her up, and she can tell us, like, a bit of a story. I guess. What she's been doing. But, okay, hear me out on this one. I would love if you put Athy in this, but he died in, like, the pantiest way possible. Well, no, he that's what I was going to do that with something. Tom, where we find a Spartan and everything, and we take his dog tags, and then we uh, read the name on the dog tag. The dog tag's like, 
Thomas Cook. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it, Tom! Uh, <laughs> and then you like you will get your watch yeah, and this is like yeah, this is like a long time ago <laughs> with it. You can have it where he dies and this be like time of death or uh, time of death of was it four thirty five? No, we're just gonna find him. I was just gonna say No, we're gonna find him, it's just like alright, we found him. I've been like stuck with uh No one's pronounced him dead yet. What time is it? Four twenty. Everyone's guys watch the Four twenty, uh just tell us where the fuck is your head you're gonna have No, we're gonna find him and his head's gonna be gone. All right, all right, so, Pat. Pat, we because of, in uh, light of recent jokes, here's how we're gonna find Tom. We're gonna find a Spartan with his head missing. <laughs> we're gonna find his dog. <laughs> oh, no, tags. we're gonna find his dog tags. So we're like Thomas. Go oh shit. Um, he hasn't been officially pronounced dead. What time is it? Four twenty. Uh, all right, so it's four twenty. God, where the fuck is his head at? <laughs> <laughs> that would be perfect! Uh, I feel accomplished. I feel accomplished. I don't know how you got all the S's on this. What? All the S's on this? Don't die. Yeah, well, well the yeah, S-Rex, um, don't yeah. die, and you have to just be very quick about it. Don't well, die. Basically don't, get a... And also don't get hurt. Without no, no, you can get hurt. You just have to be very quick. Don't die. Don't hurt on several occasions. Like, it's fine. All this time. I Dude, the S-Rex ones are a pain in the ass depending on the mission. Yeah, I only got the, uh... Um, let's see, I think it was like 7 acts so far. Yeah. Like, uh, it's just so much time consuming. I get so what I did was I S ranked all of Modern first. Yeah. How much money do you think I get for Lost Planet? 50 cents. And plus, with the other, like, uh, all that achievement. Lost Planet is a pretty oh. good game. You want to know what's sad? Metroid Prime, the first one, GameCube. There was one point where they were offering a dime for it. Dude, I had a bottle for it. They don't even take them anymore, do you? No. Like, uh, they would give you a dime and then sell it for, like, a buck. Yeah. Well, that's our whole thing, it's like complete and utter profit. That's why I don't really want to trade anything into GameStop anymore. But your like, friends I'll, are broke as fuck. No, I'll see if any of my friends want it first, and if they do, I'll hold on to it until well, they get the cash for it. Exactly. Usually, okay, what games are you selling right now? Look through my shit, if you find something you like, and if I'm willing to sell it, basically. Uh, I'll look through your stuff. Yeah, game that, uh, playing, uh... I might be willing to sell Gears of War 1 for five bucks. I don't want Gears of War 1. Green Hill no, Act 1, game. one minute thing, was not really that hard. After you figure out the path you're supposed to take? Yeah. yeah. I don't have that achievement because I wasn't going for it. <laughs> I was going for it after I beat the game. I pretty much just memorized what I was supposed to do. Roll up in a ball, shoot, jump, and hit the three guys down the very top platform. Boost. I don't know. I don't Once know. I get past the achievement, the, game, all right, the, the achievement game. that I'm stuck on is to go through the final boss and don't get hit. What achievement is that? It's one of the secret achievements. Oh. You know, no, one game that pissed me off. Fucking Army of, or, uh, Army of Two, 40th Day. Majority of everything on there is fucking secret achievements. So I got really annoyed. You know what you do? Uh, Go to game epic. No, that or fucking 360. Yeah, you think that's I've it? always gotten yeah, the The point is, I get to look online, which is I think it's kind of retarded. I, I love the fact that someone will be like, yeah, secret achievement, but it's not secret. The only achievements that are really annoying are the ones where it's like, like fucking Jeff pointed out in one of the Awus, it was like, you know, uh, in Apple's Apples, all our uh, all your apples belong to us. <laughs> Description: All your apples belong to us. So good luck trying to figure that shit out, fuckers. <laughs> That's how he said it too. I was just like, "Fuck!" So I'll probably end up looking. How did they? Mind. How did they find out what that meant? I don't know. No players. I I don't know, and I no. That's the description. And when you say how to get it, usually when you look at it, you know, yeah. it has a description about it. It's just like all this said was all your bit or all your apples belong to us, and then it was like okay, and then you know what I think you have to do to get it. To us. Huh. Get every green card. Probably something yeah, like that. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Oh, thank you. So well, I'll probably just look online and find out anyways. I have to go to GameStop at some point. What? Oh, uh, I have to take Brink back and get a newer copy. No, I'm sure. oh, yeah, when yeah, I try to thing. install it, it gets to 24% and it's just like, nope. Really? Mine didn't. And plus, uh, anytime I play Brink, sometimes it'll lock up. See, that oh, would yeah, happen at your place. Cool. My Brink? Totally fine. I play, remember mine locked up at your house. Mine won't do that at my house. Yeah, no, well, mine locks up a lot and then when I try to install it. One, you installed it, right? Yes. I go to do the thing and it's asking me to install it again. I don't want you to use Reach for this. I want you to come up with something original. I want you to make a logo for the Nova team. Can I still oh, make okay. a logo too? Well, like, yeah, if you can come okay. up with something too. See, like, yeah. I just want a logo because then I'd make that uh, Nova team's profile picture type of thing. Oh, I told Pat plus about then, uh, Plus oh, then, um, yeah. I, I already made a uh, YouTube page for Nova team's productions and everything. So basically, we can take our audio podcasts and put them on there. And all we really need for as a background thing on YouTube is just the logo for Nova well, team. Well, yeah. I made a, you know, a Nova team. Plus, it also gives us something uh, to host the audio. Yeah, I made a YouTube, Facebook, all that. 
and I just haven't published it. Like, it's nearly like unpublished. Okay, so. yeah, you made it, but then again, you also Fuck didn't really off. tell any of us about it. I did tell you. I told you guys I was making stuff and working Fuck on stuff. Yeah, you said you done. were making stuff and working yeah. on it. The moment I did it, I let you know right away and gave you links. You also need <laughs> a... Like, it, I'm pretty sure... I also I gave him the email used for the YouTube page and the password. Yeah, yeah like, we kind of need that, because to, like, update or whatever. Yeah. So just, I'm also an ad man. That's another thing. Is like, you wait, can't you make too. can't you make us admins on? Uh, I Facebook? need your email. Oh, okay. Well, so if you give me your email, I'll make you and Skylar admins. You three are the only ones I'll make admins. Yeah. I don't want to give adminship to anyone else because I mean, it gets you fun. guys have more to contribute to the page than other people. No, but I told um uh, Pat about this. Is I want to make um uh, the thing is though, if you do post like a status update for the page or whatever, hyphen your name. Yeah, hyphen your name at the bottom. Okay. Like shift ever... enter. Uh, does I like did a that for a, break, and then you can just put your name. In I did that okay. for a uh, puncture for a very long time. Okay, so what? Dude, well, you could be the guy from Bleach, from the captains. Yeah, that's true. That dog dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, crown. I would so support oh. that. <laughs> that's like a huge crowd. Hey, but go big or go home. Really, really. really <laughs> um, I told Pat about this, but I thought about making like an animated, uh, kind of like my, uh, kind of like the, freaking uh, banner I made. Where you have like a Spartan, and he like goes into armor lock, like so he, like he punches the ground, and then like right as he does, like a huge like Nova blast comes out, and it's just like Nova tomb. Thing but is, you can't do that on Facebook. It's no. good for the start of videos. Yeah, that was my thing. Was like, yeah, you just like, can't do it on Facebook that. because they're like, oh, we're Facebook. We don't like animated photos. Yeah, first. well, that was my thing. Was it was for like it was for like the. That's the videos. only thing right now that MySpace has better than Facebook. Yeah. You can have an well, animated image of your profile picture. Is MySpace picture. still even up? Yeah. yeah. Really? I, I, go, I go on there every now and again. Junior. I, don't I go on there every now and again just to see what's going on. Yeah. Junior still logs in on there, too. I Last time I logged in was like months ago, months ago. And I checked All right, yeah, but there's uh, nothing on there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's, but yeah, if we've had this going for well over. Okay, so now. we started another story, but we'll just officially call this right. a day, so. So. Thanks for listening, watching, whatever you're Thank you. Doing. Whichever one you did. See ya. And we cheers on.